Hello again. Um, today we're going to be talking about when to start speaking in a foreign language. Of course, if you like these videos, please do subscribe, like, and leave a comment, because I really like that. That'd be great. <laughs> so, it's funny because I think that relative to a lot of people, I actually begin speaking quite late. I think that nowadays there's all these different people online pushing sort of speak now or speak from day one type of methods and um, and that might work great for a lot of people. Um, and I do think in general there is quite a lot of pressure to begin sort of producing language, whether that's in a classroom where you, you know you take two three weeks of language classes and then all of a sudden you're expected to take an exam where you're gonna have to actually produce language in a way that's accurate and correct, which I think is quite an unreasonable expectation. Or it could just be generally learning by yourself, and especially if you're making a YouTube series like I am with Chinese, to start speaking for people. And the funny thing is that I tend to just not be in a hurry to start speaking. You know, sort of Steve Kaufman is someone who's pushed this idea from since like 10 years ago or something, uh, in the early days of YouTube, and there are many others. and. I definitely fall into that camp where I just tend to not really feel the need to actually start speaking in a creative way. I speak every day, all day, in terms of repeating things out loud and repeating phrases and words and trying to make the right sounds of my mouth and trying to get the rhythm correct and the intonation and the pronunciation and, and so on. But in terms of actually beginning to express myself freely, I don't tend to begin doing that. Um, until a bit later than a lot of people. But the funny thing is, by and large, I probably would say, especially, you know, my previous languages where I was learning a bit more intensively, I think I end up speaking a language fluently um, much faster than a lot of people do. Um, and so I just want to sort of present this um, idea to some of you who may not be as familiar with it, that if you're struggling to speak, that's okay, <laughs> right? Like, even if you've been learning for quite some time, and let's say that you're, you've learned quite a lot of phrases, and you're even comfortable repeating certain phrases or saying things in isolation, um, but you're struggling to sort of put them together and, and express yourself creatively, I, th I just want to stress that that is okay. And that's pretty much how I personally learn. So what I tend to do is just really accumulate an enormous amount of phrases and vocabulary and get lots of practice and actually saying things out loud and, and connecting things and being creative with sentence structures. There's lots of language production that I'm doing, but it's quite different than actually just trying to either go and talk to someone in a conversation or coming in front of a camera and saying, hey, I'm gonna speak Mandarin for three or four or five minutes now. That comes later for me. And so right now, um, I'm feeling that kind of coming, you know, like I'm, I'm really starting to learn some really useful phrases in Mandarin and I'm starting to actually, they're sticking and I feel comfortable actually saying them out loud. And I'm actually focusing on pronunciation, finally. And when I say that, I mean, I'm actually actively studying the tones, studying tone change rules, studying when does second tone become this tone sometimes and when does third tone become second um, and it's really all sticking and sinking in now after spending a few months mostly focused on just copying and just trusting my ears. So I'm, I'm seeing it all come together um, and especially today I was thinking to myself wow I'm really learning a lot of phrases now and learning how to say things and covering interesting you know gram grammatical structures but I still can't really speak a whole lot uh, and maybe I could if I really tried, maybe I could really, I don't know, bumble through some sentences and some stuff, but I don't feel confident doing that. Um, but I also don't really feel stressed about it. <laughs> I don't really feel in a hurry. So that's all for today, a nice short one, just to say that personally, I actually start speaking fairly late, um, in a sense. Um, and I tend to sort of wait until I really have a lot to say and a lot that I can say. And then it's sort of off to the races. Um, and, and again, overall, I think I actually end up speaking a language fluently uh, much more quickly than, than most people do. And so it's sort of a, just, just because you're not speaking from day one doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be any slower than anybody else. So explore your options, 
do what's best for you, try different methods. Um, but if you're just not comfortable speaking right now, that is okay, you'll be fine. Just wanna say a huge thank you for watching my channel. Um, if anybody wants to support me, I have a book that I published over a year ago now that you can find on kumabrand.com forward slash shop, where I have an ebook and also a hard copy on Amazon. And I also have a Patreon channel, uh, just in case you wanna go and support me on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash kumabrand. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next episode.